I wanted to make a quick video on this uh, brilliant idea from the new Maverick, the 2022. That's not even out yet, but they showed this and it's just, I don't know how no one has come up with this before. Uh, and I, honestly, maybe somebody has, I've just never seen it. I love this Tacoma. I had another Tacoma before this. The only problem is these wheel wells are about two or three inches too short to just lay a four by eight sheet of plywood in. And if you have one of these trucks and you do woodworking, then you already know. So I saw the Maverick video on Friday and I went to the dealership that same Friday to copy this idea. Um, so the idea is, and, I, and it's in the thumbnail, that you use the tailgate for the third support. This is the short bed. If you put a four by eight sheet on here, you already know if you have and you've tried this, it's, it's heavy on the back end and you can't strap it down. It's completely useless. And I genuinely do not understand it, it, it's why they couldn't have made the wheel wells just three inches wider. But that's another problem. I, I've even researched into turning this into a, a wood flatbed and having custom metal sides and everything made. But when I saw this, I'm like, this is just too brilliant. So I just wanted to show, you could do this with, with probably any mini, any mini truck that has these slots for the wood. Um, so all I did, I went and bought these two bolts from Toyota. They're the exact same, I just asked for these. And those are this part number right here. I think they were about seven or eight bucks total. I bought the stopper as well. Um, I ended up putting a washer, but I'll probably change that out with a stopper. Uh, and I have those, those are the, where they're called the stays. That's that part number right here, this 657780402020. And that, that top number, that's the one you wanna to give to the dealership. Their drawing is backwards on the Toyota. The Toyota, like, um, it's not a it's not a bill of materials, but the drawing shows these are reversed, so it'll be different. So another uh, thing, if you don't want to drill a hole, this was I mean, all you all you do is you put you a piece of wood here and figure out where it is. I put some blue tape just so I'd have something to draw on. I drilled a. Um, a hole to fit the bolt size and I got a nut from Home Depot to fit the back of it which oh here it is right here uh, it's an M8 uh, 1.25 and I got a tension bolt just so it would it would stay and not vibrate out um, I'll I'll frequently buy like eight sheets of three quarter inch plywood at once um, and I wanted this to be perfect but if you're somebody that just does like one or two sheets at a time, this bolt fits these two as well. So you can just, you could, if you don't want to drill a hole, just take out one of these bolts and it'll fit on one of these. This will not be even with this other board, but if you wanted to, you could not have this board, just attach it to those and this will be either too low or too high depending on which, and then just strap it down like this, right? So it'll sit on here and it'll sit on this back one. Um, this is a 2016 Tacoma, so I can tell you this is the same thread for these. So that's nice. And to do this, all you need to do is re re uh, remove these bolts and pull this out. And I mean, this this whole project took me probably 10 minutes. So, uh, like I said, I want to give props to Ford. Unfortunately, it's, you know, as a Toyota guy, it's hard to do. But like, whatever engineer, whoever thought this up, is freaking brilliant. So. Uh, I would have done this on my 2002 Tacoma if I would have known because it's always a pain getting plywood in. Um, so just wanted to share that.